Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of The Weekly Fix. And today we're gonna to be talking about the psoas and the hip flexors, okay? Not the psoas, we're gonna be talking about the psoas, which is gonna be up in here, which is kind of like right above your hip flexors, okay? Um, your hip bone and between like the belly button. It is a deep, deep muscle that attaches to behind all your intestines and it attaches to the top of your hip. Okay, this one can get uh, glued down because we, we do a lot of hinging motions, okay? And that sometimes can cause a lot of back issues, can also cause a lot of hip flexor tightness, can cause a host of different issues um, that we need to make sure we release it properly. And it's a really difficult muscle and area to get to because obviously I just said it's behind all of your intestines. So one way we can do it is a lacrosse ball with a kettlebell. You've seen that one probably in classes if you if you've taken a couple classes with us. So we call that the gut smash. You can lay on a kettlebell handle. That's one way. Um, the one that I find that hits the hip flexor and the psoas and gets a nice little stretch on it and also helps the quad a little bit is something I call it's kind of like a high couch stretch. Okay, so we're going to make sure that we use a rig upright. Okay, and in the couch stretch, you know, typically we put this leg up against the wall. But this one we're going to leave kind of lengthened out the back, okay? So the goal here is to get this leg that's behind, the trailing leg, as far back behind the rig upright as possible because that's going to cause a nice little stretch through here and then it'll come all the way up into that lower gut, okay? If this knee does not go back far enough, you're not going to get the stretch. So next, my goal here is to kind of like flatten my back against the rig, okay? So I'm completely flat and I might come off a little bit, but my goal is to not let my chest come off this way, okay? So you want to kind of engage the core and squeeze it nice and flat against the, the rig here. And then I'm going to reach up as high as I can go. And sometimes I put a J-cup above my hand so I can grip it and hold. And then you notice how right here, you can see that my chest is sticking up. So the goal here is to kind of pin that belly button down and flatten my back against the rig. And then continue to bring that leg further and further back behind the rig. And then just hang out here and relax and breathe, okay? You don't want to be tense. You don't want to be smaking the faces and tightness. You want to just breathe and relax. And it's going to help you. You're going to feel that stretch. Like I said, from almost from the top of the knee to come up through that hip flexor. And it's going to get up into that gut area. You'll feel it once you start to reach overhead. And you're just going to hang out here. Two minutes on each side. Um, if you need to, you can pat up that back knee. Uh, but it'll definitely get you some relief especially after a heavy deadlift stay, box jumps, kettlebell swings, anything like that. If you're doing a lot of hinging motions, such as uh, ab mat sit-ups or GHDs, it'll help you guys, it'll relieve a lot of pain. So make sure you get in there, work that so ass. We'll see you guys later on the weekly fix.